Hey y'all, I'm Mandy, and this is Mandy in the Making. Today I'm taking part in the $5 Goodwill Challenge, Spring Edition. At the beginning of each season, Hillary over at Old World Home puts on the $5 Goodwill Challenge, and it's so much fun to participate. It was actually the very first video that I ever recorded for my YouTube channel. Um, so it has a special place in my heart. But even before I recorded them, I used to love watching them. I, I loved going through the playlist and watching everyone's. So be sure you check out the playlist in the description box below because there's going to be a lot, like probably over a hundred $5 Goodwill challenges that will be posted to it. So you can go see what everybody's finds were at their Goodwill. I went out this morning to my local Goodwill and honestly, it's not the best location, so I didn't expect to find anything, but I found two things. One was $1.99 and one was $2.99, so my total came out to $4.98. I was pretty pleased with that. The first thing I found was on the top shelf all the way at the back. I could only see the top of it, but I was hoping that it would be what I thought it was, and it was. So I grabbed it, and now it's mine. It was $2.99. It's just this little candle stand, and it is painted. Um, it has a little bird on there. And it has these berries and like a dandelion type thing. Um, it came from Bath and Body Works. It is old. Check out. Fall of 1999. <laughs> um, so I'm not crazy about the design on it, but I love candle stands. Like you can't go wrong with that. So I'm going to paint this and I'll show you how I end up painting it. I know I'm going to paint it white, but I might paint it. I don't know. I might do something kind of fun with it. We'll see. But $2.99 for this one. And then the other thing that I picked up, I was just walking through like where they have all the glassware and I, this caught my eye and I was so excited, is this kind of teal bluish um, mason jar and it was $1.99. It was marked. It had a weird sticker over here. I don't know if you can see that. Like you couldn't really tell what it was. So on the other side, it had $1.99 listed. Um, so when I took it up front, the girl was like, We'll just go with $1.99, which was good because then it fit in my budget. But I'm just going to use this as is. I'm going to wash it up a little bit. It's got some scratches and stuff on it, which is fine. But I'm going to use this as a vase. I thought this would be perfect. So after I painted the candle stand, I got to thinking, yes, I could use it as a candle stand and put a candle on top of it and it would be totally fine. But what if I used the mason jar that I got and the candle stand together to replace that? This is our guest bathroom slash my son's bathroom. It's the hallway bathroom. And that's been there for quite a while now. Um, I love that. I made that on a craft night with my mom and my sister. It's really cute. But what if I replace it with something a little more spring-like? So that's what I'm going to try. All right, y'all, this is what it looks like. I really like these two things together. I think that's the perfect height over here on that side of the counter because on this side of the counter we have more practical things but this is what you see when you walk in and I think it looks really good. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and don't forget to check out the playlist of everyone else as they are showing their $5 Goodwill challenges. And if you haven't already, if you're new to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button, stick around, and join my YouTube family. Thanks, y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.